The biggest attraction to me uh, for Dan Delicious was the fact that it seemed to be something new, uh, coming from uh, an up and coming uh, company with like a a great reputation already with its uh, previous work. Um, great reputation uh, from uh, some comments of uh, some actors uh, that I've known uh, from past projects, uh, including uh, Diary of an Aryan Girl. And um, I just thought like it, it would be a shame to not be a part of that. Like uh, to um, I want to be uh, a part of uh, some up and coming talent, and if I can help uh, give themselves uh, an even better name than they already have, then it would be an honor for me. Husky, simply put, is a bit of a scary bastard. He's um, essentially someone who's been crossed in the past, uh, thanks to Marty in the past deal. And now he's got the opportunity to try and basically uh, screw him as much as Marty has screwed him, essentially. And uh, he's essentially that one person that you don't ever, ever want to piss off. But one of a better phrase. Uh, admittedly, uh, the 1950s was a bit of a uh, area that I didn't know the greatest deal about uh, leading into this uh, project. All I really knew is that it was a time, well obviously uh, shortly after the Second World War, it was a means of uh, rebuilding, uh, gaining, uh, gaining back an identity or establishing a new one as well. And uh, especially uh, with uh, the movements of the Teddy Boys, all these uh, different uh, types of groups coming together like a sort of like clashing not so much to the point of causing a, another civil war but more so to the point of causing new new divides but also new unities through things like food the music and uh changes in cultures now admittedly uh, when it comes to the teddy boys that was something that was a slightly vague of knowledge area for me um, <clears throat> most of uh, my research going into it was uh, actually focusing on the greaser culture. I mean, given that Husky is would technically be classed as a greaser with uh, the leather jacket and the white t-shirt and the blue jeans and the black boots and the slick back hair. Um, but um, most of the research, while was focusing on the costume and the appearance of him, it was also down to how uh, villains would appear in... Uh, in gangs, basically, uh, that sort of intimidating presence, uh, the big guy, the hench guy, or uh, you basically using size uh, to intimidate and hold that callous and that power over it, over the people that they uh, victimised. Two words. Holy shit. Like, it looked absolutely incredible. Like, uh, all the actors... Looked the part, they felt the part. I could sense like uh, so much passion uh, was coming out of everyone, and yeah, it, it was uh, kind of um, it, it, it was a very surreal feeling as well. Like um, hearing um, my voice, especially that being the last thing that you hear in the trailer. Just a little bit of self promotion there, I guess. Um, but uh, yeah, like uh, it, it was just uh, so much fun to see just the teaser of. Um, something that has had a lot of love and a lot of energy that went into it. And uh, with the final product, I hope that the audience has as much fun watching it as I've had playing Husky and I imagine that the other actors have had being a part of that delicious. I will definitely say here and now that I personally think that the talent of Dandalicious is, I'd say is definitely one of the best casts I've ever worked with, and bar none. And uh, there's uh, so much natural raw talent that has come from these guys, and to be considered uh, a, even like being in the same room as uh, these guys as well, uh, for me, uh, it was just not an honour. And... Uh, I hope, I know for a fact that these guys are going to be the ones that will take over like the UK film scene, not just the indie scene, but just in cinema in general.
Uh, the only, there is only one member of cast that I have worked with previously, uh, being uh, Andrew Games, uh, aka Marty. Uh, we actually met uh, back when I was a student at Edge Hill University, uh, studying a drama course, and um, uh, I was invited uh, to uh, take part in a media project uh, through the media department uh, there at the time. And uh, Andrew was uh, the other male actor uh, in the studio as well. And from that point on, uh, when we were, as soon as they said action, we just gelled beautifully. And uh, like there was so much fun, there was so much laughter, and there was just, I could tell that this was a guy that was definitely going to be something big. Deeply speaking, I'm glad I met the guy, and I'm glad that he uh, gave me the chance to be casting this role uh, further down the line. People should watch Thunderlicious because it's new, it's exciting, there's a good celebration of some of the best up and coming talent that not only this city has to offer but this country has to offer and they're definitely going to get something that's just a lot of fun and yeah and uh, it's going to be, it's raw, it's going to be entertaining, it's going to be fun, it's going to be Thunderlicious.